Hi everyone, it's Eric from ecartman12.blogspot.com and welcome to my review of the leaked Android 4.2 Jelly Bean keyboard. Now, let's actually show you the keyboard. I'll just pop into TweetDeck and go into a new tweet. Now, as you can see, this is the Jelly Bean, or oh, sorry, Ice Cream Sandwich keyboard. Not much has changed, but in Jelly Bean 4.2, which is said to be arrived in a couple of weeks at the time of making this video, has said to be giving us a swipe feature, similar to what you got with the swipe application uh, for uh, f uh, with the swipe keyboard application, which what you got with Android. So let's actually show you how, show you how this works. Now look, you can see if I use this, you basically get the idea. This is basically just uh, you know a normal keyboard that you basically use. But if I swipe between st between these keys now, now let's just do a new sentence. So there you go, simple as that. Now, that is actually really, really good. I really like the way it actually does that, because normally where everything would swipe is normally hit and miss. If I wanted to say do <clears throat> a word like keyboard, now with the keyboard word, I find it's very easy to quickly go from the D to the S, and it writes keyboards instead of keyboard. Here it actually tells you, so look, if I did do that mistake, it would say keyboards. Then I could like sort of correct that mistake. I'd be like, okay, I'm like ready for it, and then I can quickly, you know, just... uh very quickly edit, re-edit that, you know, with the keys over here, whereas normally it would be a bit more irritating, whereas here it's going to be expected since you see it in the preview. Now there is voice dictation. I'll quickly demonstrate that right now. This is voice dictation with the new Android keyboard. There you go. Uh, that very, works very, very well. Um, so yeah, that's uh, the voice dictation right there. And this keyboard does need Android version 4.0 minimum. So if you've got a uh, gingerbread running on a mobile phone, it won't work. So is, that's not to say that it just that it just works on this one particular phone. It works on other phones. For example, here's my HTC Desire S, and I've given the keyboard on here. As you can see, it works great, and this feature would work great as well. Let me just say the same thing I said before. This is a test of the new Android keyboard. And there you go. So it works great on all phones, and that you can, there are settings that you can do as well. Now let me just, I'm just going to let you know, this HTC Desire S of mine has got Ice Cream Sandwich, and Ice Cream Sandwich uh, is a r update that has re recently been pushed out to the Desire S, and I have actually uploaded a first look and full software review of Ice Cream Sandwich for the Desire S, so please do check those out if you are interested in updating uh, your Desire S to the new uh, uh, Android update. So, back to the Xperia T, which is what I'm demonstrating this one on. Now, it, it, this has got a dual-core processor. The Desire S had a single-core processor. So, the performance is obviously better on this phone, but it still is uh, works very good on the Desire S. Now, one thing I'm actually going to say is flaws. Now, the only flaw I really notice with the Desire S keyboard is if I want to add a new word, for example, let's just write... Let's just uh, come up with any sort of nonsense. Now, as you can see, ASFY, that's not a word. If I tap here, it'll say over here, touch again to save. If I touch again, it says the keyboard has stopped, unfortunately. So, you have to wait for that to keyboard to sort of pop back up again, which it will do in a short while. Now, if I do the same thing here <clears throat> and tap it, you'll see it will sa it'll save the word. It'll actually say I can save it. So. It's a problem on the Desire S, not a problem here. Have I noticed any problems on this? Well, I think once it did do a little force close, but that was just a one-off. I have not experienced that at all. So far, this keyboard is absolutely amazing. Um, you, there are some settings that you can do, so if I pull this uh, notification bar down and actually go into the uh, keyboard and configure input methods. Now let me just zoom in on this so you can actually see this better. Okay, so this is the keyboard driver here. If I tap on this... Then there's stuff like auto capitalization, vibrate on key press, sound on key press, pop up key press, and if you want that mic to be on the main keyboard, or if you want it to be on the symbols keyboard, or completely off. So great that they let you customize that right there. Auto correction options and <clears throat> uh, gesture input as well. So if you don't want the gesture swiping uh, input, you can remove that completely if you want to. And if I go into advanced settings, <clears throat> this actually has something uh, quite interesting which I actually wanted to do. Show gesture word and gesture trail. Now, 
<clears throat> the trail is basically if you are obviously like you know going between it, you can see that uh, high that little uh, blue line that follows you and the uh, trail word is basically as you can see the word that floats on top of uh, your swipes that's those and if you want to get rid of them you can so let's just get rid of uh, the gesture word on this one and let's go back to tweet deck and now the word is gone so this is pretty much what swipe used to look like say on the first galaxy s that uh, samsung released so you can customize this keyboard to pretty much however you like it and i really do like it it's really easy to use and quite very really is quite responsive and please take into account i've been i'm looking at uh, looking uh, i'm actually uh, type inputting all this text behind a camcorder by looking at the viewfinder if i'm actually using this as my day-to-day -day phone and using this properly without being behind a camera i'll actually do much better and i already did quite good uh, behind the camera so it is really easy you're gonna have to get <clears throat> you obviously got to adjust to it a little bit because this swiping is a little bit different compared to the other swipe keyboards but overall is very good and this is the keyboard that i've actually used as default on the sony xperia t as opposed to the xperia T's built-in keyboard, which is nowhere near as good as this one. So auto correction on this is good. Everything about this keyboard is great. The, on the Desire S, you saw it had a force close sort of problem. On this, I only noticed one uh, crash, but I've never noticed that. Uh, never noticed that ever again. So this keyboard really is actually really really nice, and I don't think I'd be changing it anytime soon. Now keep in mind that this might not be the full keyboard. This was a leaked keyboard, and there'll be a, a link to where you can download this in the video description. Basically, enable unknown sources in the settings of your Android. Android phone and then download the APK and install it and then enable the keyboard uh, on uh, this on uh, your device now also keep in mind that like as I said this is leaked it's an early leak so this might not be the final keyboard they might do uh, the odd change here and there but this pretty much is the keyboard you'll be getting on uh, jelly bean 4.2 so, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And if you would like to follow my follow my updates, then please follow me on Twitter by following at ecartman12. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Eric from ecartman12.blogspot.com. And please stay tuned for my future videos and mobile phone reviews, and especially my future coverage of the new Nexus 10 tablet, which will be my first tablet device. And thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see all of you in the next video.